Hi Scorpio and welcome to your timeless love story tarot reading. I do apologize that this is later than all the other videos but um, you guys were my last one and I just wasn't able to get it done until now so I'd rather be totally refreshed and good to go to give you your reading instead of um, being at the end of my rope. So. Honestly, it's good that I'm doing your love story today, and because of that, I'm going to add a couple of different things in for you guys that nobody else got since you guys had to wait. So, first thing, Scorpio, is I am going to only have the intention for a love story that has mutual love and affection for each other. You know, it's not where one is pursuing the other and it's just an endless game of chase. No, it's a relationship that is going to be significant in your life or is currently significant in your life. So, due to the specific nature of this reading, this is either going to resonate 100 or it's not. So, and also, you guys get your video um, kind of with my new setup. I'm trying to try different things for the recording to make it better. And um, I don't like shuffling so close. So, anyways, Scorpio, let's see what the theme of this relationship is. Your love story. We have the night winds, facing fears, subconscious release, and healing. Wow, so this is a, definitely a relationship for both of you where you are going to be healing energies for each other. And um, Scorpio is known for being secretive and, you know, never showing all of their cards. But this is a relationship where you definitely reveal your entire hand to your partner and they as well to you, okay? And also, there's a lot of healing that takes place in this relationship, so perhaps this is a relationship that goes through quite a bit or um, you guys just heal each other from your past, okay? So let's see who you guys are before you meet and get together, what is your story? Who are you guys? And I apologize if you can hear the wind. It's like howling crazy outside. I thought about moving my desk across the room, but I was like, no, that's too much work. I'll just, hopefully it doesn't um, interfere with the video too much. Oh my gosh. The wind is howling outside Scorpio, and you guys have night wind. Holy crap, if that's not a synchronicity, I don't know what is. And for somebody out there, you are like crap in your pants right now because of the synchronicity. So I'm not even going to define it because those who resonate and relate to this, um, along with the howling wind outside, it's going to be very personal. So that was a really cool synchronicity that just came through. All right, Scorpio, let's see who you are and who your romantic partner that's coming through in this reading is. You are showing as the Seven of Coins reversed, the Nine of Coins upright, And the Ten of Wands. They're coming through as the Palace of Swords reversed. The Ten of Swords reversed. And the Eight of Swords reversed. Wow! So, Scorpio, um, in this reading, honestly, just because of all this air energy and these two cards right here are actually the Gemini cards this is um, the eight of swords is Gemini and Jupiter and um, I believe the ten of swords is Gemini in the Sun so this is like 
crazy air energy. Um, lots of Gemini energy could be Gemini sun, Gemini rising. Um, just heavy, heavy air in their chart. So, wow. Anyways. What I see here is um, before you meet up with this person, you're just kind of in a place where like you've given up on finding that person or feeling like you're ever really going to connect or, you know, whatever your personal situation is. And you, co you become quite independent and strong on your own, okay? but it's like a heavy burden i don't think you really want to be alone you do truly want to share your life with somebody but you're sh you can definitely handle business by yourself you don't need anybody you are very very strong and um i feel when this person comes along like you are either ending a long cycle of being single or <coughs> a long cycle of just crappy relationships not working out okay based on these cards and for the romantic partner um, it looks like they <clears throat> were going through quite a bit a lot of um, mental energy happening here and they have a 10 as well so you both are like coming to the end of a cycle and I feel for them this is um, just feeling really trapped and restricted, a lot of worry, concern, fear in the mind and the thoughts, like, um, this is just all air, so I can't even tell you what it would pertain to. <clears throat> it could be love, it could be, you know, their career, something crazy could have happened in their life, but they look like they were going through some pretty intense stuff um, before you come along like more intense than anything you were experiencing that's for sure but you both are like coming to the end of this cycle of this intense energy this night wind how perfect is that so let's pull a card to look at your energy and personality and their energy and personality Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> so you, Scorpio, oh my gosh, look at this, the Shadow Queen, acquiring knowledge and security manipulation. So this card right here pairs so well with the Night Wind, okay? This, and this is Scorpio energy all day long. Um, this is going into the darkest of dark and being that light that beacon and um you're you have like this earth energy and this fire okay along with being a scorpio so that doesn't have to indicate that that's in your chart but your energy coming into this relationship is very earthy and fire okay so it's like um chaos and then stability so it's like a, a mixture of energy and because of the dynamics of who you are, that's why you can shine this light. And also, you know, even if somebody thinks you don't know what's going on, you know what the hell's going on, all right? You truly do. But because we have the night wind here and insecurity, I feel there's some things um, in your life that kind of hold you back that are fear-based. Um, it could be thoughts about yourself, about what you think you could achieve, about, you know, the kind of person you think that you could be with. You could be struggling with some insecurity as well before you come in to meeting this person. They are coming through as the queen of the light, illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. Wow. I can't, I, you know, these two queens came out before in a reading and I don't remember which one it was like many readings back and the fact that uh, they came out together for you amazing any cross watchers out there that know which video that is please let me know I almost feel like it was a Scorpio video I just I can't quite remember but anyways I want to point out that 15 and 16 so they are the queen of the light and you are the queen of the shadow. 
and that doesn't mean like you're bad or anything it just you can navigate energy and understand it and see through it and see through the manipulation more than this Queen of Light can okay this energy is um, like such a vibration of <clears throat> purity that they don't they can't see the way you see they're looking for the good in everybody and it's not that you're not looking for the good in everybody it's just that you see through the facade whereas they're just filled with so much spirit that like they want to love everybody okay they they trust and they're kind of naive in that sense and you're like whoa 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 so you ground them and you know um i don't think you can make somebody less naive i don't know how to express that you make them more worldly like you help them to shift into the perspective of the dark like to be able to see it because you can see it you don't have to exist there or even vibrate in that frequency to to see it okay and that's a gift because energy attracts like energy so this person here because of the way they vibrate they don't outrightly spot the you know manipulation the deceit the betrayals all the little nasty energies that are um, inside of people but you do you see it even if you are vibrating in this high place you are still aware of it and this energy just is not like they're they're not and so you help them become much more wise and not so <clears throat> trusting and gullible and you know magical in a sense where as <clears throat> because of the way they vibrate they make you believe in the magic of the universe again so it's <clears throat> a very beautiful pairing of energies now, um, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know why I'm having to clear my throat. So I just want to show you, like, these are, I love the back of this deck. It is just absolutely stunningly gorgeous. This is um, Conscious Spirit Oracle. By the way, all the decks that I'm using in this reading are listed in the description below this video if you are curious except for this one and this one actually this is um the gaia oracle right here it's a freaking an awesome beautiful deck and this is conscious spirit but the rest of everything else is listed so um i'm gonna pull a card and this is something that no other sign got since they got their video and you didn't to look at a spiritual aspect of you and you know what how divine is this because hello this is like the yin and yang right there do you see like the dark and the light the divine masculine the divine feminine like do you see it there okay um this is such a spiritual connection when you guys come together night wind is so so perfect you are going to teach this queen of light how to see into the darkest of dark and not get sucked into that you have that gift as well as they are so I don't want to say fragile and dainty because that's just not even right but it, compared to you it's like I see you as this warrior that could like take anybody out and them they're just like oh my god that person is being so mean like what's wrong with them maybe they you know they're just having a bad day where you're like no they're just an asshole like that's just who they are so it's that type of energy um, so anyways let's pull a spiritual aspect to you both because you are the queens of the light and the dark doesn't mean you're both female it's just talking about you know the energies and the illustration of your opposite yet connectedness the sameness the reflection of the other so for you we are getting the air elemental I embrace the element of air and am open to knowledge and wisdom so this here for you coming together with this person 
they are going to take you to a higher vibration and frequency and help you tap into the wisdom of your soul in a whole different way because again they vibe in a different place than you and um, they're just going to take you like higher in, in your mind and look at all this air energy and then we have the air elementals so they are gifting you this through the relationship and look at this what are you gifting them just like I said could that be any better depicted in the imagery here she is in this dark cave navigating it can you imagine this queen of light in this dark cave I don't think I can but that's what you bring to this queen of light I journey within to meet my higher self and find true happiness you teach this queen of light that yes it is good to be positive and optimistic and believe in you know the magic of the universe but there's another side to that there's up there's down there's left there's right you know there's good there's bad there's yin there's yang you're saying listen here queen of light you ha must recognize that there is light and dark within everything one cannot exist without the other and the relationship you share there's a great transformation that happens for this queen of light okay because there's a lot of um, fears of the darkness of, of the lower energies and it holds them back those fears hold them back and here you are you're like you know I'll show you the way through like there's nothing to fear here the fear just exists inside of you so you really bring them through a transformation into a much more expanded version of themselves and the colors here in this card are purple and um, green I don't know why I couldn't say that that's you know the crown chakra and the heart chakra you're expanding those chakras for this like your relationship you share is expanding those chakras in this person okay so that's actually quite lovely um, energy for you guys I like it so let's see how you guys meet or why you come together how does this relationship unfold because you know what Scorpio for you guys this is all about a spiritual journey 100% this relationship is about a spiritual journey that the two of you are taking and it's powerful like this is such a significant relationship alright we have the chariot reversed the king of cups upright the Ten of Coins upright, nice. The Death card, look at, here's your card, Scorpio, right here. Your energy, yes, how perfect, yes. Like, you are bringing this energy to them, and this is not a bad energy. Like, you're going to help them put their old self to death and transition into a much more expanded wiser version than they ever thought they could be okay you are the death and rebirth in their life the transformation that allows them to expand just beyond because look at all these reverse swords all this crazy energy and you lead them through and they have you know a rebirth wow and then look at this. We have the King of Swords. This I love this reading. Like the universe is so up in this reading. Like who's resonating with this? My God. My God. So we have the Queen of Shadow, the Queen of Light. I say this person's air energy. Look what we have here. Scorpio, King of Cups. Here's your energy. King of Swords. There's their energy. It's just reiterating through and through. So 
first we're showing as queens so you know before we're together we're both you know more in the divine feminine energy and we're soft and we're nurturing and you know it's not to say that you're not strong it, you're very emotionally strong with the divine feminine energy but coming together you guys transition into these kings where the energy is grounded and solid and stable like your emotions are balanced and you are wise they are so logical and rational okay um, that's like hmm, part of it and I love that this is the air elemental since they're air um, they help you utilize the logic and rationality of your mind and your life experience okay because as a Scorpio you know you're water you feel everything and you can be quite stubborn and they teach you that you know yes you you have your intuition and you have your emotions but you need to balance those and not all situations in life ca call for you to navigate through that energy sometimes you've got to make choices based on the logic of your mind and it can't have anything to do with emotions and then you teach them yes it's very important to always think logically with your mind but there are some times in life where you can't navigate through a situation with rational thought it comes from the intuition of your soul it comes from the song of your heart so you guys really like are opposite but you both come out upright so you complement each other so well so well and we have the ten of coins so you know this the ten of coins especially could represent meeting in the workplace um, other than that I don't I could not tell you based on these cards where you guys meet or how all I can say is you guys are definitely destined to be together um, man I love it I love it. So let's pull some romance angels to see if we can get more information on how you guys come together. How do you know this person? Because you guys have such a synchronistic reading. I think, um, oh, okay, there we go. I think in your last reading it was um, fire energy that was coming through for the, your first love story so I love that this is a whole different story coming through um, this is an error person no question in my mind whatsoever there's all swords the king of swords the air elemental like need I say more so we have these cards flew out as I was shuffling so retreat, it's safe for you to love, and reconciliation. So Scorpio, based on these cards, what I feel is this is somebody that you know, okay? Um, whether you guys dated before, I can't say based on this. I can just tell you it's somebody that you know, and there was a, like a, a disconnection because we have retreat. So you could have blocked them, they could have blocked you, like... But it wouldn't be like a serious, significant relationship. Like it would be like a couple of dates and things just fizzled out or something like that. And if that's the case, it's because the timing wasn't right. So it's like we meet, we know each other, but, you know, we retreat away. Maybe it's because we're both afraid of our emotions. Because what follows next is it's safe to love. So both of you are completely safe in each other's arms. Um... You have a very special connection. Your reading is so beautifully balanced and synchronistic. I just can't even put it into words. Because then we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. So, um, you know, because of these cards here. So we have the chariot reversed. 
this could mean the first go round it it wasn't a victory it was just you guys were both just too opposite at the time and you know you gave up and you both have put some work into yourselves since then okay because we have the ten of coins this is something that's long standing and then here's this death so we have this like ending to the old and a re and birth to something new so this could just be because we don't really have like romantic cards at all at all in any of these I want to say this is not somebody that you were like in a serious romance with just because we don't have any of those kind of energies it's somebody that you definitely know though and may have known for a while but you guys it's like you you weren't ready to align before and now we're kings and we come together in this king energy we are so strong and stable and independent so let's see how this relationship unfolds once it comes back together So we have the unicorn, good fortune, and friendship. So definitely feel like you guys are friends, but there's also an element of strong sexual and um, chemistry with this unicorn card, believe it or not. So you guys, I think, are friends, like good friends, but either one of you has been lusting after the other, okay? like. That's, I feel, one of you was hot for the other. And then next we have the wolf. Beware who you trust. Yeah, like I said, with this night wind, there is insecurity. There is fear. But it's safe for you to love. Okay, Scorpio, the past is the past. Next we have the night. Triumph over adversary. Yes. This is a really positive energy. We're both in it to win it this time, okay? Air. Seek a union of mind and spirit. Oh my gosh, all this air energy, very strong. Um, yeah, you are the spirit, the intuition, Scorpio. They are the air, the intellect, the imagination, the higher mind. And this is seek a union of mind and spirit as I already indicated you guys are going to like teach each other your own energies to help balance each other out and it's all in the unconscious mind you're just following your soul path you don't even know what's going on it's just unfolding so it, it just happens naturally like that's why we come together you will receive news from afar Ooh, so Scorpio, I think perhaps, perhaps they're going to reach out to you. That's how you guys um, reconnect. They reach out to you for some reason. Um, this is general, so maybe you reach out to them, but I feel stronger that they reach out to you. And you guys reconnect. News from afar. I feel it's like because there's been time and distance in life that has happened there may have been a bit of a betrayal at some point along the way just based on that card there but let's pull some um, Oracle to see what lessons are we working on at a soul level when we come back together to come together to be in a romantic union I just I don't get this person is super like emotional and feel goody and with all this air energy they're just very intelligent and intellectual and rational and logical they can even be manipulative because of the way their mind works and you know so that could be some energy there but again they can't pull that crap on you because you see right through it so maybe they tried before and 
like you were like yeah whatever I see you're right through you and so they're like okay yeah like I can't pull that with you okay those just don't want to shuffle so we have the vision card so yeah this is basically saying you know even though we have this separation you know you know like there's a connection here and with the vision card the next card is the most important thing so here you have the wisdom is coming over the horizon the hurt and the heartache are of the past okay Maybe that's it. You saw. Oh, yeah. Yep. You saw the reconnection on the horizon. I just want to bring these down. Do you see that? Like, here's the vision. This is, could have been, like, has something to do with, like, um, the full moon that we had with that full lunar eclipse on the 31st of January. Um, but then here's that you know energy coming over the horizon the wisdom coming in and then look it's love like this relationship here is like the greatest love of your life 100 percent and you guys are gonna you guys are already psychically connected like you even if this wasn't ever even the romantic thing, even if you were interested and it just never was romantic, it's like you just knew somewhere inside, like you and this person had a connection that was something special. Maybe you didn't understand it. I just feel like you both were afraid of the connection, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Look at what flew out, just as I said that. Take a chance on love. Okay, yeah, there was a element of fear about this connection that you guys have on both sides. So let's pull some advice for you, Scorpio. Spend some quality time together. Yes, be in each other's company and presence and be fully present you know don't just hear somebody talking actually pay attention to what they're telling you and vice versa like they need to give you the same type of energy and focus you guys spending time together is very important for your reconnection you know like um, this could also be like we decide to hang out and then Bam, it's just game on once again, like we're in love. Turn on your heart light. Yes, do not be afraid of this romance. It is safe for you to love. Demonstrate love. Find out what's important to the people you love and act on it. I think that speaks for itself. Yes, you need to just open up. And not be afraid. The Scorpio I'm reading for, like I feel this relationship didn't go very far the first time or even happen the first time around because somebody was afraid. Bottom line, somebody was afraid or both of you were afraid because this connection is so beautiful. Like perfect twin flame energy. You guys, for you, you have a king and a queen. For their energy, they have a, a queen and a king. And so that tells me, like, you both are versatile. You are divine feminine and divine masculine. They are divine feminine and they're divine masculine. They exist in the intellect mainly. You exist in the emotion mainly. But coming together, you guys just round each other out so beautifully. And um, there's nothing to fear regardless of what may have happened in the past I don't feel like um, it was anything bad it would might just be like where somebody just 
you were just talking to them and then they just kind of stopped talking to you or you went on a one day and then you never heard from them again. Um, it's something like that or a friend that you've had for a while. It's like the connection between the two of you is just kind of scary for both of you. It's powerful. Like everybody dreams of this connection. We have three tens in your reading. You know, that says a lot. You guys, this relationship is going to be um, so full grown and mature with all these tens. You both and your kings, you know, it's just a very beautiful, mature, stable, well-rounded relationship. So, Scorpio, that is your love story. I hope that you have enjoyed it. And again, I am sorry that this is coming out later than the others. So I am wishing you all the best. Take care.